Hi guys, thanks again for visiting us at RS Aquaculture. So for today's video, I'll be actually sharing you a new product that we actually carry. It's actually our new Bioflock starter, which is meant to create a Bioflock like this. And I'll be showing you guys on how to prepare it from step one, which is a new tank that looks like this, and showing you a time-lapse process of creating the flock throughout the whole two to three days journey. So stay tuned. Welcome back guys! For those who are new to RS Aquaculture, we actually produce content with regards to shrimp farming and muckrat farming either using RAS or Bioflock systems. So if you like our content, do like and subscribe so you get the notification on our latest video. So actually for today's video, um, we actually wanted to share a, a bit more about our new Bioflock starter which actually looks like that. It actually has a new packaging which is different from the ones that you guys have been buying uh, on our Shopee website or directly from us. Uh, there's a couple of reasons why we actually changed the packaging. So number one, it's a bit more sturdy. And uh, a main key thing that we have changed this year is to make it a powder form instead of a liquid form. Uh, the reason is because it's easier to export into uh, other markets apart from Malaysia because for those who are clients that are wanting to buy this uh, or in other countries apart from Malaysia we always find problems shipping it the second thing is with this new packaging we, we can actually seal it better so all of the packaging here has actually a two seal one for a seal that's at the bottom and top is actually heat seal so meaning to say that we don't want to have any issues during transportation which I know a lot of you guys have been complaining about and once you open it you can actually reseal it back uh, for storage so the heat seal is mainly for the transportation process and for this video, I'll be actually showing you how do we actually dose this into our tanks. So for those who are new to Bioflock, um, and this might be new to you guys, how do we actually use this product? So we actually have to start off with a tank that already has aeration and good mixing. So if you look at this tank, it's a 2 by 4 feet tank. At the bottom, it's totally clear. And we're actually just using airstone to provide aeration. And there's no filtration system that's connecting into it. Uh, Bioflock actually provides that filtration to convert waste into microbioproteins and in which the shrimps can use so this is a time lapse of you know the system just starting out you can see it's all the way clear and there's nothing in the tank so pretty much standard aeration so before we start and dose the probiotics the first thing you have to provide a protein source and for us that will be easiest to get is actually shrimp feed uh, or fish feed or whichever you have in your farm we actually ground it down into a very fine powder and add it in of course a uh, in a very small concentration this is to provide the ammonia building blocks for the bioflock the second component we actually have to put it in is actually molasses uh, which is a type of sugar or carbon um, which is typically looks like a liquid form and we're just putting in by weight um, after this two the next component will be the probiotic so you can see that we actually do not need a lot of either feed or molasses for the two by four feet tank of course you have a big point you probably have to add a bit more Okay, and the probiotic, unlike the previous version which uses liquid, this round we're actually using a powderized form. This is to, it's again for better transportation cost and also better storage. So it allows you to store it a bit longer. Alright, so it looks like that. And you just have to add a little bit of this powder into the existing uh, feed and the molasses mixture. Uh, and you're ready to start your bioflock. So it's a very, very simple product. Um, so next we're going to do is to put this into our tank so one of the key things here is to spread it evenly so you can see that you know we are actually adding on top of our tank uh, and make sure that the vial is clean and we just add all three components together and you, as you can see after adding it you know at this very low concentration obviously you know is it doesn't change color right so some of you might think that the bioflock is brown because of the molasses as you can see the first day after adding it it barely is even noticeable so the color or the discoloration or the turbidity in the bioflock is not due to the type of raw materials that we add it's actually growing new bacteria that is clouding up the water so that's a very important very important point to take note so one of the key things here is uh, many people will tend to just use shrimp feed that is um 
not grinded or is uh, still in a very palleted form and a lot of them were sinking down at the bottom and uh, note that guys here we're actually using a powderized version already and we still have a little bit of that settling down at the bottom mainly the big chunks that have been stick uh, together with molasses but you can see over time it will start to dissolve away you know because of the good strong mixing that we have in our tanks uh, due to the aeration process right so that's very important thing. You know, a lot of people, you know, been adding a lot of uh, feed, but actually they do not produce a uh, good quality bioflock, and it, it becomes settlement to the tank. So what we actually done here is to actually mount a GoPro, uh, which looks like that. Um, we are actually filming the process of the bioflock actually forming over a period of uh, two days, and this is actually a bioflock that we started earlier. So we actually tried this product multiple times, and we are able to get a uh, end result after maybe one week after of dozing. Or actually, we actually started cultivate the shrimp in this tank as well, but now we are stopping it and we move the shrimp around. Uh, do note that uh, we actually have another aquarium behind that has a bit of light. Uh, it's not to say that the bioflock needs light; it's just that we are using it. The light is there because another tank is running on a RAS system, right? So it should not affect the bioflock because once you have good overgrown uh, bioflock, it uh, usually clouds up the water like this. So this is a time lapse of the bioflock actually forming. Uh, this is within a few hours. You can see the whole water actually starts to cloud up. This is indicative of the bioflock actually forming and what we call bacteria or bacterial cells that start to slowly form and cloud the water. You can actually see the bottom of the tank growing out a layer of uh, biofilm that is actually growing. So what's different about this formulation is this formulation we actually pick by bacteria that can grow what we call a thicker biofilm matrix, which allow it to coagulate into larger pieces. Right, this is very important because you want the shrimp to be able to consume a lot of the bio bacteria biomass that is created from the process. And we actually change the strain formulation to allow more of this biofilm formation to allow coagulation. Right, so this is actually when we take the amorph cone uh, after two days you can see that although it still looks a bit you know uh clear on top but after 30 minutes you do see some very big pieces of a uh, flock that's actually forming down in the cone and this is after half an hour you still see these big chunks of you can see flocks that are suspended in the water and apart from that uh, this new formulation also allows bacteria to grow on the side of the walls of the tank uh, which you see over here and I'm going to show you a quick presentation you know a quick uh, demonstration of putting live shrimps inside so I actually took some PL very very young PL, this is about PL12 or 13 that we got from our nursery. And we're just going to dump this into this tank. And what you will realize over, over time is these PLs will tend to aggregate in areas that have a growth in this biofilm that stick to the wall. And this is a behavior that we see all the time in our biofloc tanks. And these formulations will allow you to better to achieve that. So obviously, we put the PL in. There's not much of an issue. And you can actually see that they start to hang around the side of the wall where there's a bit of accumulation of this flock. And you can see that they're actually just feeding on this. And a lot of shrimps will just, you know, just try to graze the size of the tank to get that additional feed. Because... Usually after putting PL the first day, we do not actually feed it. So you can see there are two guys. Actually, the first one already passed. And uh, you're about to see another guy just slowly swimming to the front, um, which is actually eating the flock as well. And there's another guy behind me as well. So they're all crowding around this area to consume the flock. So actually, this is a very important uh, a piece of uh, the bioflox part is to start it properly using the right probiotics that can promote this biofolk behavior. So that's all for this video guys. Uh, note that we actually have many other videos or, or experience with regards to biofloc formation or even cultivating biofloc shrimp farm. Uh, for those who like our content, we actually do produce weekly content with regards to shrimp or muckrat farming. And for shrimp farming, we see that the biofloc is the future uh, because it can, it can be used in an outdoor pond, an indoor pond, and even an aquarium. As you can see, it's a very versatile technology. And the flocks, which under microscope looks like this, is responsible for converting waste into uh, converting waste into microbioprotein, which can be then reassimilated by the shrimps because the shrimps can eat them as well. So it really reduces your feed conversion cost. So that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoy. Do like and subscribe if you like this content. And our product is actually available on our website and Shopee. So stay tuned.